tell us, you know, what we we haven't really seen something like this. So what can be expected? Joe Biden is one of the greatest, most consequential presidents in American history. This decision, in my view, cements his legacy for great leadership, even statesmanship. But what he's achieved over these last three and a half years is truly miraculous for the country. He's restored our economy, brought down rates of inflation, the first gun violence prevention measure in 30 years, a champion of reproductive rights. He has not only led our country with compassion and courage during a really tough time emerging from COVID, but also he's restored our leadership on the world stage. And I think now we have a choice to make as to who his replacement will be. At the top of my list is Kamala Harris, but we will almost certainly have an open, responsive democratic process. All right, so you're backing uh, Kamala being next in, in to, to fill that seat. I've known Kamala for as long as she's been in the United States Senate, sat next to her on the floor of the Senate during the impeachment trials and worked with her on the Judiciary Committee. So I know her well. I have the utmost respect and affection for her. So she's at the top of my list, but we have a good bench and we'll have, I think, an open and democratic process. We've been following this, obviously, and we were speculating this would happen this weekend. But for any voters that may feel a little, you know, confused now, what, what would you tell them going forward? What's most important is our country come together, and particularly the Democratic Party. Because in my view, winning this election now for the Democratic candidate, probably Kamala Harris, is a critical challenge and mission. And so I hope there'll be a recognition that Donald Trump is an existential threat to our democracy and would turn back the clock on women's reproductive rights, on gun violence prevention, on inflation fighting and aiding the everyday American. What has been most distinctive about Joe Biden is he cares about the little guy, the everyday American, the person who needs a hand. Not a hand out, but a hand up. And that's the task ahead, bringing the country together, avoiding overheated rhetoric, and making sure we understand the challenge ahead for all Americans. You mentioned the importance of the Democrats winning this. We are three months shy from election. Is, is there any worry of just you know, really finding a candidate fit and that can reassure voters that it's okay to still vote Democrat? I'm very excited about this election. I think we have a strong bench. Kamala Harris is at the top of my list. I think she would make an extraordinary president. She's had the experience of sitting next to the president as he makes critical decisions and leading the nation. And so I think we will unify as a party and I hope as a country behind someone like Kamala Harris who can lead with distinction, courage, and compassion. Have you heard from anyone else uh, in the Democratic Party as of right now? I know this just broke. <laughs> I've been talking to a lot of my colleagues, uh, members of the Democratic Party. I think there is a real sense of excitement, even exuberance, that President Biden has made this very difficult, courageous decision, an example of his profound leadership and statesmanship for the good of the country, putting our nation ahead of his personal interests and making the right decision. Anything else that I didn't ask that you wanted to say worth mentioning? I think that's it.